Hey everybody, welcome back to another Clay Makes video. It's Minecraft month, we're we'll gonna be making portals, we're we'll gonna be making an ender dragon, but today, we're we'll gonna be making a mini scale coin bank to hold all my monies. Okay, so like with all Minecraft sculpts, we are going to need the grid. I went with this just basic white Sculpey, just because I've switched over to the more stiffer clay, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to use up some of this old clay. But since this is old clay, I have to condition it in my pasta maker. You can see how brittle it is on the first pass. Now for this extruder, I only had this size of a square die, so that's why I went with this small of a scale. I think it turned out good in the end though. Now I just use the grid to cut out little cubes just a quarter of an inch. And there were many of them. So while those are baking, I switched over to foam board because I wasn't sure if I had enough clay. So this sculpture will be a mixture of clay and foam. Now I tried cutting out solid shapes for the house, but it just didn't turn out that great. This way with the cubes being all different shapes, it really gives it a nice like Minecraft feel after it was all painted. But it was so many cubes. I'm going to see them in my nightmares. Now I'm just cutting out the layers of grass and gluing them down to build up the terrain. Here I'm just marking out a quick grid and then I draw out the areas a little darker that I need to cut out. I actually did this for most of the pieces. Now it's time to build up the channel for the coins to slide down. It would be nice if I put it on the right side though. Now here I'm adding the smaller strips, just using the coin for a spacer. Wow, look at that, it actually works. Now we just glue on a back panel, making sure to leave some room on the bottom for the coins to drop. Now just adding on the bottom area so I can start cutting out and shaping out the cave. You will see that I leave a little gap at the bottom there. That's so I can light up the lava pit later. Now I just glued together a bunch of little foam strips to make the stairs leading from the cave to the house, or the house to the cave, I, I, I don't know.
now it's time for the trees. We are back to the clay cubes again. Try to make them as random as you can. You will see I start with a kind of a platform and just build up from there. Now for the paint, it is Minecraft, so the colors are very basic. Just pick your favorites and go to town. For the trees, I did paint them a basic green, and then I came back in and like stippled some dark green on top, just to give it a little more dimension. Now add in some little wood green on the end. Now add in the farm. You gotta have the farm. Now for the stone cave, I wanted to give it some more texture so it wasn't just a flat gray. So I took light and dark gray and flicked it all over the surface. It makes it read really well at a distance. Now let's add in some tiny coal and ore blocks. And don't forget the diamonds. Now take a piece of pexiglass and put it underneath for the lava. It will be lit up later. Now I wanted to give some more dimension to the farm, so I added pumpkins and watermelons. just scatter out those trees. Now I made one mini Steve, two mini zombies, and two mini creepers. It's going to take some time, just be patient, especially with the faces.
you'll see that I had to use the end of the X-Acto blade to hold them while I painted them. They were so small. Now just glue on the top and we can call this one done. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Remember, there's still one more week on the Ash Greninja Pokemon Sculpture giveaway. So just make sure that you're uh, subscribed and you comment on the video if you do want to win that. Um, I was going to do a giveaway at every 100 subs, but the channel jumped really quick this week. So I guess once this giveaway is over, there's the next one after that. Maybe I can give away the Ender Dragon or something that's coming up uh, in a couple weeks. That might be pretty cool. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support that you give this new channel. And I'll see you all next week.